Warning. This video blog or blog may contain harsh language and opinions that are not necessarily in line with YouTube or its partners or affiliates. YouTube does not openly endorse the content of this vlog. All opinions are expressly those of Ranting Ramsey and do not reflect on the opinions or values of YouTube, its affiliates, or its parent or partner companies. Greetings Internet people, Ranting Ramsey here. How are you all doing today? As you can see by the title, we're not really talking about anything specific. Um, yeah, by the title up there, or if you're watching this on my channel, down there. Um, it's basically just a few rambling updates, rambling points, um, about shit that's going on with me lately. Um, I've got three major things that I uh, have noted here on my screen to talk to you about. And the first of which is, if those of you who pay attention to the bulletins are released a couple of days ago, um, the band that I used to be a member of, that I still think uh, has the potential to be a really strong force in the uh, underground metal world, um, Colony, has now established their own YouTube page. Um, those of you who have been to my channel in the last couple of days have seen that the featured video on my channel has been their update video, but um, it doesn't seem like very many people have actually um, gone and checked that out, and I encourage that. Um, the uh, link for their channel is down in the, in the description, and for those of you who are lazy, it's uh, their channel name is Colonization which is spelled with a uh, colony, C-O-L-O-N-Y, and then Z-A-T-I-O-N, colonization, is their uh, YouTube channel. So obviously, you know, www.youtube slash user slash colonization. And uh, you can find them very easily. So if you're a fan of metal, which I know that a decent amount of, uh, amount of my subscribers are a fan of metal because the videos that I do about metal music get more views than any of my other videos. And when I see a spike in the viewership of those videos, I also see a spike in a rate of subscribers. So I know a lot of the people who watch my videos are metalheads. So if you're a metalhead that is into the uh, progressive metal uh, genre um, that likes the gent sound or gent genre, depending on which side of the fence you're on on that particular argument. If gent's not a s genre, it's a sound to you, then, they're, then they use the gent sound. If you think gent is a genre, then they are part of the gent genre. Colony uses a combination of progressive metal, metalcore, and gent. So, um, if you're a fan of any of that, you really need to go check out Colony. They've got a video up of one of their early, early songs, and then the teaser video includes parts of the EP they plan to release sometime this summer. So, you really need to go check that out. They're, they're an awesome bunch of musicians who just push the boundaries of genres and their own talents. Um, I know one of the musicians of the band personally, him and I have been friends for, for years now, and he is one of the most talented guitarists, one of the main guitarists of the band. Uh, his name is Alex. He is one of the most talented guitarists I have ever had the pleasure of working with in my entire music musical career, amateur though it may be. And... Um, the other guitarist in the band, whose name escapes me at the moment, who I only met briefly before I decided to exit the project of my own volition due to questions that were asked of me, I said, you know what, fine, I quit. That's a whole nother story for another day on a different video. But um, the other guitarist, who I did have the brief pleasure of working with, is equally as talented from what I can tell, that he and Alex are both on the same level of understanding when it comes to their instrument and how to play the music they want to play. They're both masters. They're extremely good at what they do. And the basis they found to replace me when I quit, just in all, in all lack of modesty, he just blows my ass right out of the water. He plays an instrument called a Chapman stick. Look it up on YouTube. 
it'll blow your fucking mind. It's a variation on a bass guitar, which I could not even begin to wrap my mind around. So, as I've stated on a comment in their channel, my decision to leave the band couldn't have been any more beneficial to the band, because they replaced me with a musician that whose knowledge of music and ability to play his instrument just blows me out of the water, so the band has nothing but benefited from my decision to leave. Um, so, you know, I, I, I'm basically just sucking the nuts of Colony right now, because what I've heard from them and what I know they're doing, is just, it blows me away. It's, it's fucking phenomenal. It's next level shit, in my opinion, when it comes to metal. You guys need to go check it out, if you're metal fans, because they are going to explode on the Dayton scene by late summer, early fall. They're going to be all over the place, they're going to be all over the web, they are going to fucking make it. And it's... I can't say that enough. You guys need to go and listen to this band, what they have available, and support them. They're fucking awesome. And I regret my decision to leave, but as I said... The, the person they replaced me with blows me out of the water, so the band has nothing but benefited, and I can't think that anything other than that, if I was still a member of the band, they wouldn't have the potential that they have with the member group that they have. So there you go. That's my opinion on Colony and their new YouTube channel, and the fact that you motherfuckers who like metal need to go check their shit out. I'm fucking serious. It's linked in the description. Um, on a related note, some of you may notice that the, uh, guitar over there, over my right shoulder, has changed. That is no longer the, uh, silver Washburn that it used to be. That's my Ibanez GSR-205. And the sad reality is I actually had to sell my Washburn. Um, the... The financial crisis, the recession, whatever you want to call it, has not lessened its hold on me. Um, and I had to sell the washburn to make ends meet. So those of you who are astute and notice that the guitar over there has changed color, it hasn't changed color, it's just simply a different guitar. That's my wash, or that's my Ibanez GSR 205 5 string. And uh, I had to sell my washburn Phantom Series BB5 DBL. <sighs> C'est la vie. Que sera, sera. So, the last thing I have noted on my little thing to, um, to talk to you about today for your entertainment is a little story last uh, that happened to me last night. As I was driving home from work, I was almost home. I was, I was, um getting ready to turn into my apartment complex, and the road that sits in front of my apartment complex is a two-lane road. Two lanes. And as I approach my turnoff, I, uh, I release the gas pedal. I'm not one really to work the brakes so much as I'd rather stop accelerating or stop my consistent forward motion in my car than use my brakes, so sometimes I slow down by releasing the uh, accelerator and letting the momentum of my car decrease before I touch the brakes and make my turn. So as I'm approaching my turn, I release, and I realize, I look at my speedometer because I'm very uh, cognizant of speeding because I don't like having tickets. They're expensive and they're a pain in the ass, so I don't fucking speed on the general average. But uh, that's kind of pointless. Anyway, so I just start decelerating to make my turn, and I look up in my rear view, and there's a pair of headlights that seem to be approaching rather rapidly. And around the same time that I do apply my brakes and turn on my turn signal, which is in the neighborhood of 100 feet to 150 feet before I actually make my turn, yes, I actually adhere to the actual Ohio uh, Department of Transportation, DOT, rules of the road, as in the Ohio Driver's Manual, which means you should uh, signal your turn approximately 100, per feet, 100 to 150 feet before you make it. So I did, and around the time that I'm hitting my turn signal, the vehicle behind me flashes its brights at me. And then just about the time that I apply my brake and start turning to make the turn, the vehicle swerves to the left, just barely missing, rear-ending me, and honks its horn at me. 
out of pure abject curiosity, I had to know what the fuck their problem was, because I know for a fact my brake lights, my turn signals, and all that are functioning properly, because I had about a year and a half ago been ticketed for a tail light that was out. So now I'm uh, on about once a week, or uh, once every other week, when I get into my car at night, I turn it on, then I get out to make sure all my lights are working. I know that's kind of obsessive and kind of nerdy, but that's the reality of it. So I know for a fact that all my 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 uh, night running lights, my turn signals, and my brake lights are all functioning absolutely properly. And so when this person honks at me and flashes their brights and makes some objectionable uh, vehicular gestures, basically... I, could, I, I, I swerved back into the lane to follow them, and I followed them to the next intersection where we just so happened to have a red light. And I rolled down my window, and there was a driver and a passenger in a red SUV is what it turned out to be. And I, and I said to them, I said, what the fuck is your problem? Verbatim, I said, what the fuck is your problem? And they respond to me, he's like, you need to learn how to fucking drive. And at this point I realize it's a couple of stupid fucking teenage males that couldn't have been more than 18 to 20 years old. I myself am 31 years old. I have been driving since I was 16. And I learned how to drive in an Ohio winter that was one of the worst, which means there is nothing but snow and ice on the road. I'm a good fucking driver. Fuck you if you have anything to say about it. And so at that point I said, I know how the fuck to drive. What the fuck is your problem? Is it a two-lane road and you're flashing brights at me and honking your horn at me when I signal and brake to make a right-hand turn? And at that point, they say something inaudible because then the passenger just cranks up the stereo playing some mindless fucking pop music. And then they squeal their tires and pull off when their light turns green. And I shit you not, this is absolutely true. Karma came back to bite them in the ass. Because as I accelerate normally from the green light, and they're peeling off in their Chevy Blazer or whatever the fuck it was, I watch a Kettering cop, which is the city in which I live, Kettering City cop, pull out right behind them, flash their fucking lights on, and pull their ass over for reckless operation. I... Could not help, but as I pulled by, I rolled down my passenger window, I pointed and laughed and said, Ha ha, you fucking retard. And then looped around and went home. So that's an interesting little story that I thought I'd share with you guys at the end of this video, which I'm sure is probably in the neighborhood of 15 fucking minutes long. But there you go, there you have it. That's what's going on with me lately, I'm sure. Uh, I have tomorrow off as well, so I'll probably post some more relevant actual rant video. But, um... I'm Raining Ramsey. That is all. Hope you enjoyed it. Go check out fucking Colony. They will fucking shred your face off. Hey, did you get all that, man? Douche.